I don't know what you're allowed and not allowed to say anymore. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Lauren from Hot For Food, and you know what we're doing this week? We're back on our trifle game. Remember last week, we made the vegan biscuit bacon and egg breakfast trifle. This week I'm showing you how to make a traditional English trifle with custard, cream, and berries. Um, this is all inspired by the UK release of my cookbook, Vegan Comfort Classics 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face, now available in the UK, all over the UK, thanks to eBury Books, eBury Publishing, thank you so much. Uh, you can walk into your local bookstore over there, you can order it online, and I've linked it all in the description below. So get the book if you haven't already. You're gonna need the cookbook in order to make a component of today's sweet traditional English trifle. Um, first off, you need to make the vanilla cake, which is in the customizable cake part of the sweet things chapter of the book. And then we're gonna make the layers of the trifle with this cake. We're gonna add raspberry jam. And of course, the most important component of all is the custard. And let me just tell you, I have nailed this vegan custard. Traditional custard is full of eggs. It's not my favorite texture, not even really my favorite thing at all. I, I think it's not very lovely, but when made vegan, it, with this recipe that I've come up with. It's delicious. It's the perfect consistency, the perfect light sweetness, vanilla, the whole thing. So let's get started um, and I'll show you how it's done. So this custard has tofu and sugar, full fat coconut milk, cornstarch, nutritional yeast, vanilla extract, and just a pinch of salt. So if you haven't noticed, this is very similar to the creme brulee recipe with a few tweaks just to get the perfect consistency for an actual like custard uh, so it doesn't solidify as much. Um, and the nutritional yeast is very important. It's what contributes to that, that yeastiness uh, that you get in the, it's sort of like a tongue sensation and a flavor sensation. That's why I put nutritional yeast in everything because it has so much versatility. I did put it in the creme brulee recipe and I'm putting it in this because it's what created A, the perfect light color for custard and B, the right, um, just the right mouthfeel and right taste um, when it's combined with the cake and the whipped cream. So don't question me, it's a must and it makes a huge difference to this recipe. Okay, now you're gonna blend this until it's very, very smooth. All right, so we're gonna heat up the custard in a saucepan over medium heat until it's nice and thick. And then right from the heat, you're gonna place the saucepan into an ice bath, which is just cold water and ice. So just take pretty much a whole tray of ice. There you go. So have this standing by ready to go. So you wanna whisk this constantly for about five to six minutes as it thickens. Once it gels like this in the pot, it's done and you can remove it into the ice bath. So this actually helps sort of, I don't know if this is traditionally how you temper things, but it actually is helping it get smoother and stay this consistency like custard. If you just let it sit off the heat without doing this, it would be clumpy. We're gonna prepare the berries. So I have a mixture of raspberries and blackberries, and then I've got strawberries. Um, you're just gonna slice these strawberries, you know, like lengthwise on the side, cause I think it looks cool. Those are gonna go around the perimeter of the trifles, the mini trifles. Um, and then any excess pieces you can just toss in here and we're gonna add sugar, lemon zest, and lemon juice and kind of macerate the berries. That's what it's called, macerate. Let the juices all come out and then the lemon adds just a little bit of a zing in and amongst all the creamy cakey stuff. All right, so you've got all the components for the trifles ready to go. You've got your custard, your berries. Um, I'm just gonna use a pre-made coconut whipped cream because it's way easier. If you wanna make your own, be my guest, but we're just gonna use a pre-made one. You wanna have your cakes pre-made, so my recipe in my book says you can make two, seven, or eight inch cakes, so this is what you're looking for. We're gonna cut circles out of these now, four and four per cake, and then we're gonna cut them in half and spread jam in between. This is my friend's jam, it's delicious.
they are, the vegan English trifle with custard, berries, whipped cream. Mm, they're so good. So these are meant to be individual size servings, but you could go ahead and do an actual full big trifle like the tiramisu trifle in my latest cookbook, um, which is just in a seven inch round uh, large trifle dish, like more of a traditional looking trifle. Um, but either way, these look fantastic. Look, I'm so British. I even have my tea ready to go here. Now I don't know if trifle goes with tea. I'm just trying to appeal to all you in the UK. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, well enough tea. I want to get to the dessert here. Okay, y'all. It's so delicious. I mean, I've already tasted this. I've tested it. I know. Spoon so small. It's just spoons. Oh, those British two little spoons? <laughs> I'm not making fun. I just, I don't know any British things. I really don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just know trifle is an English British thing, right? Okay, whatever. Leave all your hate in the comments below. <laughs> oh my God, this is so good. Like my aunt by marriage's mother would always make, like my inherited grandmother basically would always make trifle at every family get together and I'd be like, oh, I don't want to eat it because I don't like the custard. Mm. But I have tried it, like a real one. Mm. You wouldn't even know the difference. Look at that. The jam, the cake. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm -mm. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but the nutritional yeast in the custard is essential. It is what makes this thing taste like custard, plus the consistency that I managed to get, which is the use of the coconut milk and the tofu. So you cannot substitute. I've seen other custard recipes out and about there. They're not good. They're snotty, they're too thin, they have too much cornstarch. Um, so just, this is the one. And um, that's why I put nutritional yeast in everything because it's so amazing. And speaking of which, I actually have t-shirts for sale with my friend Joseph Lincoln who also has a YouTube channel. He's vegan, go check him out. His link to his channel's in the description. But we collabed on a t-shirt. It's the Nooch God shirt. Go get it. They're selling like hotcakes made of Nooch. Uh, so go get them. They may only be around for a limited time. We haven't really decided. But um, it's my little tribute to Drake. It's our little tribute to Nooch, and we want y'all to rock these shirts and wear them with pride if you love Nooch, AKA nutritional yeast, AKA the only ingredient you need in your pantry, more or less, because it's in every single recipe that I create. So go check those out. Uh, I have ordered mine. I don't have it yet in the mail, otherwise I'd be wearing it. Um, but next video, I will wear the shirt. If you already have one, send us a photo. Tag Joseph and I in the photo, hashtag Nooch God, and uh, maybe I'll repost. Uh, what else? The recipe for this is linked to my blog in the description below. You do need to get my latest cookbook, Hot for Food, Vegan Comfort Classics, 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Available worldwide, available in the UK, so you can make all the trifle you like. And you need to make that cake recipe from the book in order to do this. Or you could use, I don't know, maybe you can find vegan ladyfingers, which is also a traditional thing that's in the trifle. But the cake does perfectly well. Um, and you're probably wondering, what should I do with all of this this leftover cake. Oops. <laughs> well, other than that piece that fell on the floor, you could cut this up into more chunks and make another trifle entirely, a different type of trifle, the tiramisu trifle from the cookbook. Instead of doing the full layer of cake, just like cut this all up into squares, soak them in the uh, espresso liqueur thing, and then make it that way. Uh, lots of things you could do with this. You just eat it, plain. Get some buttercream frosting from my cookbook. Make little cake dippers. You know, the world is your oyster. All right, I'm here every Wednesday. Subscribe, I'm always cooking up vegan love for you right here on the Hot For Food YouTube channel. Also follow me at Hot For Food on social, Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, the whole thing. Check out the blog, tons of recipes. Get the cookbook, share the love online, and uh, I'll see you guys next week for more awesome vegan recipes.